to be called Decoration Day. I think I'll call it Decoration Day because it, it brings back the old time. Um, one of the things about Decoration Day was um, back in the late 50s, early 60s when I was a kid, um, I lived near next to a, 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 a school, a Catholic school, which had a big parking lot in the back. And about four in the morning, uh, on Decoration Day, the bands would arrive, the marching bands, and a lot of them used parking lots around the center of the city to, uh, you know, coordinate and get together. And they would start practicing um, five, six in the morning. And you would hear two to three bands playing different things. And it reminded me of... Uh, uh, Still River's favorite son composer, Charles Ives. And he does a, a piece on, um, I think it's called Fourth of July at Putnam Park. And he does the thing where he has, it's supposed to symbolize two marching bands passing each other, practicing both playing different uh, Americana patriotic themes. And that's what it sounded like. And, uh, and, and he had it pretty right, you know. Um, anyway, the parade is getting ready to start again, though it's a very cut-down version from what it used to be. They are just not like they used to be. Parades back then on on uh, Decoration Day would, would be minimum two, maybe three hours long, and lots of marching bands. Now you have just a few and a couple old straggler on uh, marching bands that are kind of hurting for membership. Um, but in a little town called Farmfield, uh, about oh, four or five miles north of Still River, the whole countryside changes back to what it was like around the turn of the century. Not much has changed in the farm field except for you know the modern conveniences electricity and cars and the internet and things like that and uh, it does have a Starbucks one and it does have I believe two traffic lights in the uh, stop and shop uh, strip mall a little small one and uh, but they had their own little uh, Decoration Day Parade, and then they would have this, what was called the Weirdo Parade, and they would come about five or ten minutes after the very small, maybe two floats, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, local Civil Air Patrol, and, uh, you know, the three members of the police department and the uh, volunteer fire truck would go by and that was the parade but then the weirdo parade would start and there was this old geezer named Carl Krasansky he had an old blue Ford Fairlane station wagon with the wood paneling on the side like it was a 58 or a 60 Ford Fairlane <clears throat> and he had a dog named Sparky, who had like, it was a mutt, kind of a uh, terrier mix of who knows what. And uh, Sparky had this like snarl of a tooth that would stick out on the side. And uh, Sparky died about 10 years ago or more, maybe more. I haven't seen Carl around in over 10 years. Well, he had Sparky stuffed, 
and he put them on the roof of his blue Ford Fairline. Uh, Carl did like odd jobs around. He had ladders and paint cans and stuff in the back. And uh, he was a local yokel, you know, would show up to local coffee shop and, uh, you know, have weird discussions about you name it. He was very, uh, he was against every president that ever was, no matter who was in um, an administration. Um, he would dress up Sparky for different occasions. He would have him, you know, dressed up like Santa Claus or something, or Rudolph for Christmas. He would have him dressed up like Batman or Dracula for for Halloween, and he would have him dressed up like the Easter Bunny or something for Easter. And uh, Fourth of July, he had him once dressed up like he had an Uncle Sam outfit with a hat on him. And uh, on the decoration day, he would hit, he had a he had an army helmet on him and a, and a, a jacket with like medals on it. He put on Sparky, and he had a little sign that hung off of Sparky's neck, saying General Patton on it. And uh, the helmet had American flag on it with like five stars. And, and uh, he would head up the Weirdo Parade. They had a, a anywhere from a fifty to a seventy-five member kazoo band. And everybody would dress as weird as possible and uh, and wear clown outfits and all, all kinds of stuff, just very interesting. And they would get together and practice like old Led Zeppelin tunes or uh, Beatles or old pop Beach Boy tunes on kazoo. And that would be the band for the weirdo parade. So that was uh, Decoration Day in or near Still River.